Main reason I'm doing this is because uh, I'll be traveling a lot with my 950 this year, a lot farther than normal, and I want to be able to travel the safest way possible. Blake and I have a date scheduled to get together and start shooting within the next few months. So I'm super excited about that. I'm actually gonna take you guys down to Three Star Industries one day as well in Kentucky. We're gonna get a new windshield that's gonna be uh, scratch resistant laminated, um, but they're also gonna custom fit it to go around my side mirrors too. So I'm super excited about that. Be a real bad boy. I've got a ton of gravel in my shoes. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin. Today we're gonna to be talking about hauling your side-by-side, -side, the safest way to tow it, be installing an e-track system on my trailer. It doesn't currently have one, and it's, you know, that's the best way to tow your side-by-side, -side, and we'll get into that while I'm installing this. But uh, I didn't get the long track. I just got the plates. Uh, so there'll be a plate for in front and behind each wheel. And so we'll have to get the side-by-side -side out of the garage, get it pulled up here so we can mark where we want our plates and then we'll get to installing it. Well, that was fun. Now that we've got it up on the trailer, what I have are uh, two slot E-Track plates. Kind of show you what these look like here. And what's gonna happen is they're going to install one in front of the tire and one right behind the tire on all four tires. So two, four, six, eight of these plates. I am gonna bolt through every single one of these holes. I'm not just screwing it into the wood. I'm gonna screw holes all the way through and drop some grade eight lag bolts down through here and fasten them with a fender washer, which is a great big washer, a lock washer, and a stop nut as well, just to, just to be as safe as I can possibly be. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a Sharpie and go around and mark all the places that I'm gonna have to drill, then I'll need to drill the hole, and then we'll uh, put everything uh, together. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place these plates, make sure I pay attention to underneath to make sure there's no, no tubing or supports for the trailer underneath it, because I don't wanna drill through those. I'm just gonna take a little skinny marker and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna mark all the places where I need to drill. And I'm gonna do this in front and behind every single wheel. Now I'm not putting them directly underneath the tires, uh, like snug up against them, because I, I want that pressure to be here, right? So, and I want it to pull down in front of and in back of these tires. The reason this is the best way to secure your vehicle is because these have the least amount of movement and play as you're driving down the road. If you strap to something up here, like there's the possibility of this, you know, compressing and, uh, you know, rebounding, which could loosen or even release your strap. I don't know how it is. In, I don't know how. Get it. Get it. I don't know how it is in your state, but 
really shouldn't secure the front by the winch hook. I have done that before, but it's uh, not uh, ideal. This trailer is a six by 12 foot dovetail. A little bit of story time on how I came to have this trailer. <laughs> it's really a funny story. My first CF moto that I went to buy was uh, a U-Force 500. I drove up to Anderson, Indiana to pick it up. I was gonna borrow a trailer the night before. The guy told me, oh, sorry, I don't think you can use it. I don't think it's gonna fit. I don't think this is gonna work. My bright idea was just to, I drive up to Anderson, I rent a six by 12 trailer from U-Haul, pick up what I needed and drive it back. Well, we get to the U-Haul place to pick it up and I pick up the trailer. So we hook it up to the truck. I, of course, don't go around to the rear of the trailer. Why would I ever do that? It's a six by 12. We get there, I sign all the paperwork. I go to pick it up and uh, go to put it on the trailer. And the back of the trailer is inset about, uh, I don't know, 12 inches on each side. So it's not wide enough to fit the, to fit the side by side on it. So I have to take the trailer back, drop it off, my wife's family members live up that way. They own a big equipment hauling company and uh, repair company. So we contacted them on the way to pick that up. We actually drove by a place they told us to uh, contact about purchasing the side by side. We drove by it. I seen a bunch of trailers out front, told my wife, screw it, pull in. I'm just buying a trailer. I'm going to need one anyway. So we pull in, I go in, tell them, you know, who our relatives are and and uh, the owner comes out and shakes my hand and says, hey, would you be interested in a used one? I said, absolutely. So they took me out back and he said, I got this one right here. It's six by 12 dovetail, 2018. It's a lone wolf, I believe. And he said, uh, 800 bucks and it's yours. Sold. Grabbed the trailer, went and picked up my side by side, came home, rest is history. All right, I got all my places marked now. Now it's just time to drill the holes and uh, start connecting the plates. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna drill this first hole. I'm gonna make sure the bolts that I picked up are gonna be long enough to fit. Pretty sure they are, but I'd like to double check before I get too far into it. And they are. They're plenty long enough. We'll get the rest of these holes drilled and then start to mount these plates. Just to demonstrate real quick, it keeps trying to snow out here um, before I finish the rest of this off. So the way this slides in is just pull this little tab back, slide it all the way, you push it down, and it should hold right there. Well, I like to put the part in the back. Um, to release it, you just do the opposite. But what you're gonna do you're going to connect one side here. You're going to come over the middle of the tire. Connect the back part in back here. Tighten it up and then crank her down. And this right here is absolutely the safest way to strap your vehicle. 
Um, you're not going to get a lot of bounce. You're not going to get a lot of give, a lot of movement from right here. The main reason I'm doing this is because uh, I'll be traveling a lot with my 950 this year, a lot farther than normal, and I want to be able to travel the safest way possible. Blake and I uh, have a date scheduled to get together and start shooting within the next few months. So I'm super excited about that. I'm actually going to take you guys down to Three Star Industries one day as well in Kentucky. Um, we're going to get a new windshield that's going to be uh, scratch resistant laminated, um, but they're also going to custom fit it to go around my side mirrors too. So I'm super excited about that. All right, guys, I'm going to get this uh, trailer finished up before I get snowed on too bad. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Uh, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough, man. Have a great day. Yeah.